Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Automotive here today with a video on fault code P0299, symptoms, causes, and fixes. Dynamic trouble code P0299 indicates turbo underboost condition. This could also indicate supercharger underboost condition, but for the purpose of this video, I did want to focus solely on turbocharged applications since turbos are much more popular, especially in the modern day. Now, specifically what this code is indicating, when you run into an underboost condition, it essentially means, for example, the PCM is attempting to target 10 pounds of boost. However, the engine is only actually seeing six pounds of boost. In that case scenario, that would trigger this fault code indicating that your boost pressure is under its target and therefore you have an under boost condition. So diving into the bulk of this video, starting off with some of the most common symptoms of fault code P0299. Again, with an underboost condition, this means that you're not reaching your peak or targeted boost. So naturally, most of these symptoms are going to revolve around power loss and a lack of performance. And of course, whenever you have a fault code stored, that is going to trigger the check engine light. And then additionally, you're going to notice that poor performance, lack of acceleration, sluggish acceleration, the engine may potentially go into limp mode. And otherwise, you might just kind of notice some weird performance issues. For example, it could be jerky acceleration, it might just feel hesitant, or you might be getting this on and off acceleration feeling where it feels like suddenly you're getting all the power and then it's pulling back a bit and just kind of going back and forth. The biggest point here is with an under boost condition, the most noticeable symptom is going to be that power loss, especially because a lot of the times turbochargers can be providing 50 to 100 plus horsepower that your engine has available. So naturally, if that's not all available, you're likely going to notice that lack of acceleration and lack of power. Moving on to some of the most common and causes of fault code P0299. Number one, we have turbocharger failure and turbo issues. A lot of the times, if that's the problem with this fault code, it's probably just due to an old tired turbocharger, something that has 150,000 plus miles and is just reaching the end of its effective life. Another common issue is wastegate issues. Specifically, a lot of the times this will boil down to the wastegate actuator, which is a little rod that opens and closes the wastegate to control boost pressure. So it's possible that actuator could be getting stuck, could just be sluggish or kind of sticky, or it might not be working at all depending on the exact issue. Next on the list and potentially the single most common cause is boost leaks. Any kind of loose hose, loose clamps, any damage to the intercooler, any significant cracks in the piping could cause a boost leak and that's certainly one of the most common causes of this fault code. Some additional common causes include airflow restrictions like potentially a clogged or blocked air filter. And then lastly, a faulty boost pressure sensor, which this could vary depending on the engine. You might have a MAP or manifold absolute pressure sensor, or you might have a mass airflow sensor or a separate boost pressure sensor. But if you have an issue with any of those sensors reading the pressure, that could certainly trigger the engine to think that it's in an under boost situation and trigger fault code P0299. So a number of different causes there, and that can make it a little tricky to diagnose. Moving on to the next subject, when it comes to diagnosing and actually repairing P0299, the first First step, it's always best to plug in your OBD2 scanner again, double check all of the fault codes for a potential starting point on diagnostics. For example, if you're receiving fault code P0101, that indicates a potential issue with the mass airflow sensor. And if your mass airflow sensor is faulty, it might just not be reading the boost pressure correctly and therefore triggering fault code P0299. So again, for that first step, just check any additional fault codes because that can help point you in the right direction. If it's not giving you much else to go on, moving on to step two, always start with the basics pop the hood, check the whole turbocharger and intake system, look for any visible damage to any pipes, any cracks, loose clamps, loose connections, etc. Check your air filter, make sure it's not extremely dirty or make sure that nothing potentially got sucked into or stuck in the air box that could be restricting airflow. So again, just double check the very basics and make sure nothing is obviously out of place. If everything looks good there, moving on to the third step, I'd highly recommend performing a boost leak test and particularly doing a smoke test to check for any potential boost leaks. 
So this would involve pressurizing the intake tract and then allowing a little smoke in there to see where any potential leaks might be coming from. Introducing the smoke just really helps tell where the leak could be coming from. You could pressurize a system and just try to listen in different areas of the engine bay for where you may hear pressure escaping or leaking out of. But a lot of the times having that smoke makes it a little bit more visible and can help pinpoint the specific location of the boost leaks or potentially multiple boost leaks. If everything checks out there and you don't have a boost leak, then there's likely a physical hardware issue going on. And a lot of the times this could be the wastegate actuator. So doing a similar pressure test with that actuator to see how it responds to that pressure and ensure that the actuator and the rod do have a full range of motion and are working properly. If everything checks out there, then unfortunately at that point, that's likely that you have a turbo failure. Again, it could just be an old tired turbocharger that's in need of replacement. But ultimately a lot of the times this boils down to boost leaks, which can be very very tricky to find, but a pressurized test with smoke can often help track that down and get that boost leak fixed and resolved. Anyway guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks everyone.